is up guys, Sonic Beast here. We're, we are back for another NBA 2K21 of the second round. All the games are complete, but only one needs to be finished. It's the Brooklyn Nets versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Right now the series is turning out to be a 3-2 in this game. Right now Brooklyn's still in the lead. If they win the whole thing, then they are moving on to the semifinals. I mean, in the finals, in the championship of the Eastern Conference. The other side of the Western Conference has already been complete. The Clippers beat the Jazz for an upsetting score, and the Suns destroyed the Trailblazers on Damian Lillard's team. For now, this is going to get tricky. And if you have been checking out the top player of the year votes, then you know everything that happens to here is what this turned out to be. So make sure you watch this one now. We're one of the top plays of this year. Now which NBA 2K League team won the 2020 edition of the turn? If you know the answer, then get this right. Team seated 10 through 23 will compete on day one, hoping to advance to the following day's 16 team bracket. I don't know which one, so I'm not, I don't, uh, I don't follow anything of the NBA 2K League, so. These teams will be battling for more than just leagues of So I don't know anything about this one, so all right? I don't know who's last season's championship, so I have nothing to say about it. In the meantime, they're walking in right now, and we're about to see what's going to happen at that point. If we're looking for something, we come into the locker room and head our way to the court in Milwaukee. Dressed up from the, uh, just a bit better. And it's brought to you by Express. Well, a good downtown here. And also, of course, it's a nice sunshine here. Incredible view of this Milwaukee. And now, this is the court where you've been waiting for, right over here. Now let's get you over to David Aldridge in the sideline. David? have their transcendent superstar in Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he said, we've got more. We have a great team, guys who can knock down shots. If there are five people in front of me who want to hold me back from that goal, there are four guys on the court who will make plays. That's what makes us dangerous. Kevin, back to you. Very, very well started here. Thank you, DA. Now taking a look at the starting lineups right now. The Nets and the Bucks are doing this over and over again to see what happens at this point. Looks like the Bucks are doing really well in game three, but well, uh, we're not sure what's gonna happen in game four, five, six. And if there's game seven necessary, then there might be a solution then. Or six, I don't know. It may be hard for them, but this is game six in the second round of the 2K21. Let's see who wins the first one, here we go. It's the Bucks! Win the tip off here, and we start now in game number six for this part. Right now, we have seen Giannis Antetokounmpo shooting his best timing to be on Space Jam. New legacy with LeBron James. Well, not all the players, but only some fran franchise rising star players to be on the movie. So, yeah, we're watching this movie too, and if you got a chance to watch it right now, make sure you watch it on HBO Max. That will be on July 16th to be on the go. So here's Middleton. Middleton stepping up. Ooh, gets a little whip up around, but right now it's Kevin Durant with the rebound. Durant right up on Irving with the layup, and that will be the first assist to take it off here in the first period. Drew Holiday over to Antetokounmpo. Vincenzo for three. DiVincenzo missing out the three-pointer connection. Harden trying his own time. His three-pointer is good. And they got the two-point lead up on the scoreboard. Here's Andre DeCoupo. He still hasn't got anything just yet. Holiday trying to work around here. Middleton working around. Right over to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo on the drive. And the shot's going to be off. Kyrie Irving received his first personal on Brooklyn. 5.32 to go in this first quarter. A lot of plays are just happening so far. And Dante DiVincenzo will take his first trip to the free throw line. 
His first shot's good. Not the only fan favorite, but maybe for DiVincenzo, he might be able to do it himself again. Not sure if he will try to do it, but if there's any updates on DiVincenzo making another team, then somebody is going to have to replace him. And Chris Bill said he never switched it off entirely. I don't know what he's going to be doing already. Anyway, back to this. Here's Joe Harris. Kevin Durant missing the layup throw. And Middleton with the ball. Over the onto the Cooper. He ducks it across in the paint. And assist by DiVincenzo. If I got that right, I don't know. You, you might recall it. Harden against Holiday. Griffin to three. And he connects the three baller and it's assist by Harden. He will get his first three pointer of the bucket for tonight for Blake Griffin. Middleton out. Cutting in. Pass over to Holiday. Vincenzo. Three pointer. D. Vincenzo. Receive his first three pointer of the night. Kevin Durant against Antetokounmpo, double screen coming. A little bad connection here, and a defensive breakdown is on the books. Right now, in the lead right now is the net, 67%, over 60% on Team Giannis of the Bucks. We could go to, we could visit the Bucks anyway, or we could visit to Milwaukee and check out some, uh, check out some cool, uh, cool locations here instead of watching it for the game. But you know what? This might be the only time we like we like to check it out. Three pointer, Giannis Ante the Kumpo. That's his first first three pointer. Harden trying to work around. Oh, he just made that dunk. He tied that game up 11-11. Here's Giannis scoots it up to Drew Holiday. Up over on DiVincenzo. Bounce pass. Good connection here by DiVincenzo. People get another one here as they are up by two. Harden trying to work it around again. He runs around. Pass up to Durant. On Giannis. And what a good rebound here for Giannis on the Kumpo as Durant misses. Holiday in the wing. Up again on Lopez. Oh! Fade pass, and it's right on Middleton. First pass assist is on Brooke Lopez. He's got number one. We're a bit down to three minutes here in the first quarter. Only 15 to 11 score. Kevin Durant trying to push his way. He doesn't need that one. And that bad defenseman here was Giannis. Timeout on the Bucks. Yeah, I got 2.52 left to remain in the first quarter, but this is what we were expecting to see that we were all looking for. Very hard to see what's going to happen. Anyway, making new changes here. I'm just going to need to try to pick up another offensive run and try this again. So now we have new players checking in. It's T.J. Tucker along with Forbes, Connaughton, and, uh, and Portis. And Brett Brown with Dinwiddie, Green, and Nicholas Claxton are checked in as well. Tucker. Forbes back to PJ Tucker. Now it's Pat Connaughton with a three. Three pointer. Pat Connaughton. He's got his first three pointer. Here's Spencer Dinwiddie. He passes to James Harden. Screen coming on the Brooklyn. Jordan for three. A little fighting rebound here, but that's Connaughton with the, with the rebounding save. Two on one. And one. Chris Middleton receiving his first two. And a foul first called on Brett Bruce Brown. One shot left here for Chris Middleton with only 2.09 to go. Looks like uh, they're catching them up to do Game 7 on the run. Last time it was the first round of the OKC Thunders versus the uh, Utah Jazz in Game 7 at OKC. But the win was 
the wing that took it all was Utah Jazz. They had a lot of ability to go around here, a lot of ability to make change the momentum for this game. And now Bruce Brown trying to look around freely. Floater, no foul called on Milwaukee. It's Portis with the first rebound. Forbes, right over to P.J. Tucker, 1.40 to go. Pass to Portis. Over Claxton, and his first shot can hit the two. We're about a minute and a half to go. Not too much happening here. Here's Bruce Brown, there's the floater, and the jump is in. First pointer for Bruce Brown. Not sure what he's going to do next, but uh, it's very hard for him to keep an eye on him. Tucker outside. Moving over is Pat Connaughton. Connaughton trying to move it over, and whoop! Oh, he grabbed their own rebound here as Connaughton misses the converting layup. Harden trying to look around again. Harden trying to attack it on Claxton. He goes right over Bobby Portis and he's got his first bucket. And James Harden with the assist. It's 21 to 17. Forbes finds Portis. Around Claxton. And he gets his first one to get the layup ball. Portis with the first point of the night. Bango, the mascot for the Milwaukee Bucks. We're under 30 seconds here, Harden. And yeah, we knew it was gonna happen. Forbes calls his first personal, and James Harden gets one free throw attempt at the free throw line. Not sure what the coach is up to. He's just like, he wants to tell him like, don't, don't, don't put the pressure on James Harden. Just let him, just let him go. It's not gonna be enough for him to just knock it out. What a strange bar. He got it in. They're down by three. Forbes only had his first personal foul, but has to be careful. Portis coming in again. He scores. That's his second bucket of the night. It's 25 to 20, 20 seconds. James Harden try to look around, try to try to go to attack it. And just like that, he just attacked it, and now he they're putting it up by three. Ten seconds left here. Connaughton right over the middle team. Five seconds to go. Pat Connaughton had a choice. Decided to take the beer. Oh, the three-pointer. Pat Connaughton. And the first quarter has ended. It's 28 to 22. A good run here for the Bucks and Nets. We'll be right back here in the second quarter after this. How can we be the best version of ourselves individually every day? And how can we bring that together to make a, a great group? And I think that's a that's the focus every day. That's tough in itself. That's the pressure in itself is the getting up and being laser focused on what your job is every day. And I think a lot of guys in this locker room know how to how to muster up that focus to, you know, win basketball games. Well, you may not know about the Kevin Durant of how he well he played. Well, you probably might be telling him that why does he survive the grind? Well, that's what he just definitely do. Not too much to uh, comply about it, but this is what he really, really, really wants. So think about that. Harden in the side. Oh, it's Claxton. He's knocking out of the ball already. Now Harden taking the two. That will go in. They are up by four. You can see that James Harden is on a streak because of how well he had definitely played. And that's what he done. So all fueled up and then we're ready to go. Connaughton trying to make a cut. And he sometimes gets off to a slight angle, but he made that shot. Looks like Bobby Portis was able to help him out, but it looks like, uh, I think that shot was definitely coming in that time, so well played. Dinwiddie trying to attack the defender, and it's Portis making a ripping move. 
Connaughton to P.J. Tucker, and shots in there. P.J. Tucker receiving his first basket for tonight. 5.37 left to play in the first half. Timeout, Brooklyn. So that turned out to be a nice game here. We love to see how this one goes. Not to see anything going on. I'm going to go ahead and sub out Forbes. I'm going to bring back DiVincenzo. And then I'm going to need to try to bring, uh, bring Middleton back in. Then Portis out. And then Brooke Lopez back in. A little bit changeover. And then I should go. Different look here for the Milwaukee Bucks and Brooklyn Nets here. We have four players checked out as Griffin, Durant, Joe Harris, and Irving are checked in. And on back on the other side is, oh, three-pointer Joe Harris. Jonas Antetokounmpo, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez and Dante DiVincenzo. Oh, the seal was broken. Here it comes! Oh, this is not what we just expected to see that. It's Harden trying to pick up a rail. Harden, DiVincenzo. That's all it is. He's not sure what he was going to go, but he definitely take a spin on that one. Biggest lead, it was Milwaukee by eight. Lead change six and tie two in a row. Screen avoided. Oh, almost had it, Drew Holiday. You almost had it. Well, now Kevin Durant's going to score. Yep. Yeah. We told you. We told you he was going to score. You should have a defender out here. Don't be surprised at what just happened, okay? Middleton. Drive counts and one. He gets uh, down on the floor very hardly, and it's Blake Griffin receiving his first personal. I did not see that before. I didn't see that one coming. Well, that took a big hit, but he never really wanted the car to get on with it, and just really wanted to destroy things all. So Griffin has received his first, second team foul on Brooklyn. Not just a fan favorite of what we are expecting. Middleton, really well done. Eight points in the game. It's 37-31. KD, over to Joe Harris. Screen on Blake Griffin. Now he's back out again. Joe Harris receiving the layup without a travel violation. Not sure what's going on. Giannis Antetokounmpo receiving another one. He might do it again. Fast is a DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo gets lucky. He gets six points in a game. Right now they're up by six. KD against Antetokounmpo. Griffin to Harden. Screen even definitely in the way. Hard it up. The shot didn't hit it off. But sometimes Kevin Durant receiving a rebound. And it looks like they're down by four. With that run. Drew Holiday trying to go for attacking, of course. Kevin Durant on to the Kupo. DiVincenzo outside, but sometimes he doesn't want to get right into it. Besides to go for Brooke Lopez to do it. Tough on a layup, but that will be off. Right now, uh, Dante DiVincenzo is on Jarris, and he finds, oh! KD, he slammed down as Joe Harris takes the assist. And Drew Holly will have to call time here with 2.53 left. Nets are getting in control here, 39-37. to 37. Um, if, there, if it's going to happen here... Let's get some changes here. Chris Middleton out. I'm going to bring uh, Connaughton back in. And Drew Holiday out. I'm bringing Jeff Teague in. And let's switch it up a bit. But 
hopefully this won't happen again. Irving and Harden are checked out. As Irving switches to point guard and Bruce Brown in the shooting guard. And two players on control. Shots off the angle, but it did not work for him at all the time. And sometimes it was Irving taking the tie. And it's 39 to 39. T finding Di Vincenzo. Now he goes over to Brooke Lopez. Gets an off angle. But he makes a two-pointer, receiving the double. I mean the triple on it. Now the first half is almost complete right now. We are left to two minutes. Kevin Durant definitely did it again that time. 12 in a row. Teague right to DiVincenzo. Onto the Kupo, trying to look around here again. Oh, put the step back. Three-pointer is off and not in time. Irving receiving again and oh! It's Kevin Durant with the dunk. Irving taking the assist over and over in the first half. T right to Antetokounmpo up. Three-pointer! Giannis Antetokounmpo! There's your first three-pointer in a great freak. Irving on Di Vincenzo. Griffin taking a step. Oh, it's Di Vincenzo with the block. And it's on to the Cooper with the rebound. One last minute left in the first half. On to the Cooper. Makes a shot. A little slight off the angle here, but he makes it. T gets his first assist. 14 points up ahead for Kevin Durant, 10 for Andre DeCoupo. He's trailing by four points. Bruce Brown receiving the dunk. Sometimes the defenders doesn't want to give up. T, back to Andre DeCoupo. He sometimes asks for a screen. He, he wants that. And a good pass here, Brooke Lopez receiving another assist. That's two in a row here. And Anton de Cooper receiving another two. 25 seconds, 48 to 45. Anton de Cooper really looking to tight. Kevin Durant making a layup, and he definitely doesn't want to slow it down either. Lopez over to Anton de Cooper. Finds Connaughton. And that was a good help here for the offenders here as Andre DeCoupo gets his assist. 10 on Connaughton. He has two already. Sometimes the Greek freak rarely has trouble getting his spot. From deep, no good. It's a half time. It's 50 to 47. Close call. And no changes here at this point. So we're not sure what will happen. Now let's take you over to Kevin Durant. I mean, David Aldridge on the sideline. David? You guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops. Uh, getting a rebound, getting out of the pushing. Uh, find a way to find open guys. And you make the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, DA. We'll be right back with you after this one. Stick around later after this. Oh, yes. We're back at the Pfizer Forum, and we're off to start to third quarter. Now, we're checking a look here once more again. It was Kevin Durant, all eyes on KD. Why does he do it well? But this is what happens. 16 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists in each game. Looks like he's just definitely wanted to tough to the metal. It is part of the game. Not, to sure, not sure what else he could just try to do, but well, you may find out if he could try to pick it up. Well, if you're ready to do it, it's the third quarter, we're all filled up, and we're ready to go for the second half. And it seems like, uh, it seems like Andre Kupo really wants to pressure it on, but maybe he might do it again. Andre Kupo scoops it up the layup, he has 14 points in the game. Now here's James Harden against Steven Chenzo, Irving outside, covered by Holiday. The shot, and 
that's good. It didn't really stop on him, but that's what it happens. Holiday on again. DiVincenzo. Holiday for three. Three! Pointer! Two! Holiday! Receiving a first, first three pointer. And the shot here for Gerving is good. It's a great pass by James Harden. Another assist goes in by as they are trailing by six for Brooklyn. Lopez, pass to Middleton. Middleton, back to Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo, oh, he slammed it! I can't believe that he just goes right into it, but you don't mess up with Antetokounmpo, the freak freak. Maybe they will win the game four. They will win the whole thing in the finals. They might. I never seen him doing the, the next one, but only one. I mean, come on, man. Why don't we do two of them? We, we, we could do two of them if you want. Well, that's a big story that he wants. Holiday, pass to Dr. Kubo. Back to DiVincenzo. Vincenzo up. That layup shot's good. That will be another pointer for DiVincenzo. It's eight in a row. And now we just go down to five minutes. Big Dodger. I don't see anything. Trying to pick it up. Oh, block pass. Pass the block. Three on one. No one has done that before. Another great pass to Antetokounmpo. And he's got 18 right now. Time out, Brooklyn. 4.41 to go. I mean, really well done here. It's 61 to 53. How well does he do they have the play? Nothing else to say about this one. I'm bringing Forbes back in. Also, I'm going to bring uh, Brooke Lopez out. And then I will have uh, Bobby Portis checking back in. Very well with a man to man. Let's go to uh, let's go to the zones as we get there. That was kind of a slip. I I don't know what to say. And we get the pick and rolls here a little bit. New changes here for Brooklyn and Milwaukee Bucks. Here's um. Four players are checking out as James Harden stays on the court. Didn't wait a Kevin Durant moves over to small forward. Jeff Green and Nicholas Claxton. Forbes, PJ Tucker, and Borders are checked in for forever players. Steven Chenzo, Brooke Lopez, and the Greek Freak, Otto DeCupo. Portis, back to Tucker. Over Green. That shot gets in the way as Tucker misses. Brooklyn trying to look around. Kevin Durant. Ah, oh, he knocks that one just in time, but the two-pointer was in range. Middleton on Forbes. Forbes, Portis over to Holiday. And it's Portis with the with the screen. That shot gets tight. And it's Portis taking six points in the road. 3.40 left to go here for the third quarter. Here's Dinwiddie finding a look on Ham Harden. And all hail definitely puts up James Harden. I do not see anything going on for uh, Chris Middleton. 15 points for him, 10 to the paint. Sometimes he wants to switch things up differently. Right now, only six in the shot clock. Holiday over Arden. He didn't hit that one. Kevin Durant receiving another rebound, and here comes Arden taking deep three points in good range here. They're getting close now. Here is Forbes trying to pick up the attack. Over on Tucker, right to Holiday. Holiday scoots up. He's fouled. By James Harden, his first personal, and 2:47 to left to play here in the first in the third quarter. Drew Holiday shooting two at the free throw line. Might be very tough for him to keep an eye on. But well, uh, 
Should be could be not enough for him. I don't know anything about that. That's a good shot here for Drew Holiday, and now a new change here for Nets. It's Dinwiddie out, and Bruce Brown checking in. One shot for Drew Holiday. Second free throw was a little late. You're down by two. Oh, you can't stop on James Harden. He's putting up another assist here. Oh, it's Spencer Dinwiddie. Yeah, that was him, but uh, he's switching on the other podium. I don't see anything going on. So it looks like Irving's checked out. Damn. I don't know what to say about that one. Tough shot. It's uh, PJ Tucker. Looks like you're doing really well right now. Only two, no nine left. Oh, Holiday got the steal. At a fast break. Ooh, he gets he gets knocked away. Spencer Dinwiddie receiving his first personal foul, and now two free throws is up for fours. change here for Brooklyn Nets. Here comes Irving. He will check in for Nicholas Claxton as Jeff Green moves to center and Kevin Durant to point forward. Plus, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie was just got a little uh, piece of it at that point. He's trying. And he makes two free throws for four. That will be his first bucket in the third quarter. Now it's two minutes to go here in the third. Spencer Dinwiddie blocked the pass. He tries again. Irving. Yeah, he's wasted no time here in the three-pointer. Timeout on the Bucks with another minute to play here. And it looks like we've never seen this one before. This is kind of tough for him to just score by if he really wants to get there in time. Also about Drew Holiday, I'm going to bring uh, Jeff T back in and Chris Middleton out, and I'm going to bring Connaughton back in. Just only those two players here. We're going to switch it into this one. And here we go. A lot of great, lot of great momentum to make a change here for two players that time. T game from Connaughton. Oh, T. Really well on that run. No block on Kevin Durant. <clears throat> Let's see what happens with the other team of, uh, of the Brooklyn Nets. Irving to Durant. Durant for two. He does not get it in time. Portis into Tucker. Dave Portis over Dinwiddie. And that will turn out to be a late shot here. Irving. On the alley is successful. It's Kevin Durant with the with a make over with the dunk as Irving receives his assist. T over to Portis. Portis T. Warms up. Three-pointer was slightly off the target. It's Kevin Durant right now. Here he is. Line screen. And he definitely does it. Kevin Durant is making another history of making the assists tonight. As Portis didn't really see that one coming to make that one a better play. Whoa! Teague is making another two-pointer out there. We're under 30 seconds to 72 to 71. You want to bring the Greek Freak back on the court. I need this Durant. Eight shot. 
It's no good. It's Tucker with the rebound. Wardis with the ball. Ten seconds here in game six. Tucker, Connaughton, over the tee. With the buzz meter, he's up. Oh, he made it! He made a three-pointer! And the third quarter, and now we're heading to the final quarter. Well, I can't stand with you. He's just definitely really got extended. Well, final quarter's underway. Don't go anywhere. We'll finish the game after this when we come back. Now checking us for the uh, game of the assist of the game is presented by State Farm. Now we're checking a look over here. I don't know what you can tell that this is what they really have here. It seems like Forbes was picking up here on P.J. Tucker. I don't know if he was able to do it right at that time. He's doing really well, actually. He might be uh, keeping it along and taking on the court where he really wants. So how well can he play? I'll, there's nothing. Oh, Giannis starting the fourth quarter. It's 20 points we're in. They all rise for the Greek Freak, and they have shown the signs of a poster. I love that face. He's Greek. Yeah, I think he's from, uh, I don't know, Austria? Australia? I, I don't know. Uh, Greece? Amphets. I don't know if he's, if he's from Greece in that year. Go man, finding his Brook Lopez. Over Griffin. That shot gave him a tough one. Look here as Andre Kupo makes the, makes the rebound. Meanwhile, this turned out to be another miss here on the Bucks. It's Chris Middleton missing out again. Irving taking the three, that's an open shot for Irving to pick it up. And they are getting close down on the board. Great deep pass here by DiVincenzo. Double man, making a shot fade. Drew Holiday, making a lower layup here in a drive, and it's 18 for James Harden. That's Drew Holiday gets eight points. Yeah, and Griffin, taking the slam. They're still getting close to a neck-neck run. Middleton finding over is Lopez. Watching the back. Girardi finds Giannis. And shot's good. Blake Griffin, his second personal foul. That's where all, we're all talking money about that in the bank. Blake Griffin was saving his second personal foul on Brooklyn. It, and it looks like they're just about to streak on to, uh, I think, back in Brooklyn. So, yeah, I think, they're, uh, I think they're going back to Brooklyn for a sudden death. It's a win and go home once more to see who will advance to the Eastern Conference Finals of this game on 2K21. I don't know if you can tell about that one. Giannis is looking pretty strong. Yep, you can definitely tell. Timeout on Brooklyn. It's very tough for him to make a score that they really wanted it. Not to believe it, but this is what they really just can't complain about it. Now, all of a sudden, two players are getting tired now. T and Connors. And then I don't have Connors today. A little switch up here. I'm just going to make a three two zones and find out if it's all right. And we got new changes here for Brooklyn this time. We're just taking a look and see what's happening here. Drew Holiday and Middleton are checked out. Here is Harden. He passes up to Griffin and he goes up. This shot doesn't turn out to be the right timing at that point. Giannis trying to mess up on Harden. Connaughton right to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo. It's Giannis making a saving rebound. That pass is off. 
Irving with the steal. They are bringing up another turnover here on Milwaukee. Irving outside against T. The screen is on its way. The two. No good on that run. Adele Kumpo receiving another one. It's eight rebounds. Tigo Irving. Rebound by Lopez. Now they are going to need to try to work it along. They must not need to get anything. Finding is DiVincenzo with the two from Elbow. It's good. Dante DiVincenzo really standing out. Connaughton gets two assists here. Jeff Teague only receiving two assists. I don't know who else had it. James Harden, Griffin wide open. No good on that run. Teague will try to continue it off from here and slow things down a bit. Three pointer. Dante DiVincenzo can't hit the can't hit the claim. Foul is called on Brooke Lopez, his first. On Milwaukee, first team foul here for the Bucks. And now it's James Harden going to the free throw line to get back in the game with under 3.30 left to play. It seems like it's going to be a very tight space here to just work their way around. The first shot sends it in. Now two players are back in the game. Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton, Connaughton and Teague are checked out. The starting five lineups are getting really good here. I don't see Kevin Durant shooting the free throws here. It may not be enough. He made two. Brooklyn Nets have have a lot of percentage here. They're just trying to fight their way through. But now they gotta get their they gotta get their timing right. DiVincenzo, three pointer! Dante! DiVincenzo! 13 points! Harden! Harris for a three! That's good! He sinks the triple! They're just trying to attack it again. They're down by four with under three minutes here. Holiday. Lopez outside, back to Holiday. Receiving a drive. That's good for Drew Holiday. It's 10 points on the run. 89 to 83. They're down by six. Timeout on Brooklyn. They wanted to talk this over before, before they get back on the court. Seemingly like they're just not just um, picking it up the right way. If they do it at right timing or not, you may never know. So, uh, I don't think this was happening before. We're going back to Band to Band. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, back to Man to Man. So, two turnovers over on Brooklyn and Milwaukee. It's still tied up, but two of them only had one. Two steals on each team. On each team. We have 31 assists here on the Bucks, 26 on Brooklyn Nets, 19 for Brooklyn, and 17 for Milwaukee. Not sure what else they're going to do. We're going to need to see what else we need to get through in order to make our way down the line. And now it's time to present the New Balance player of the game. And this one goes out to one of the best. James Harden, the Beard Man. I don't know what you can tell, but that's what his longest point of his career has turned out to be off exact amount that they were trying to do. Not really convenient. I thought it would be Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving he would put it up in the mound. But nothing happens here at the right time. Very hard for them to just try to work their way around and don't come back. So Harris again, he receives another three-pointer here on the, on the outside range, and the Bucks are in trouble. They're up by three again. Giannis going to take it away. Sometimes he does not have it. 
Earl Irving trying to make him here. This could be a very trouble to tie it up. Kevin Durant. Back to Irving. Screen on Blake Griffin. Two pointers good. You're down by one. And now they're just looking for a chance to get back in here. Two minutes. Oh, Arte the Kupo shows up with a no stressful of the bustle. It's 25 points for Arte the Kupo, and the fans turn it up to try to win game six. Oh, here's the tie. That's good. And this is going to be a troublemaker in between Brooklyn and the Bucks. Looks like uh, they really need to sell things up a bit. They need to try to work things out a bit. Dante DiVincenzo Holiday right to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Body open, Lopez. Just good. It's Antetokounmpo. Another assist here tonight. Under 90 seconds here, James Harden. Harden trying to look it again. Looking for a lead. Griffin, Durant in the lead. Yes! Oh my, we got a lead score here. It's Brooklyn in the lead. Durante up to DiVincenzo. Backing over is Arne DeCupo. Layup is good. Giannis is putting up a fight. In between Kevin Durant and Arne DeCupo. 27, two point lead over Kevin Durant. And he just keeps it going. We're going to need to make a timeout. With 53.8 seconds, this is where it all comes down to this. If the Bucks win, well, not just yet, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here later then. I'm going to make a new change here. I'm going to bring Jeff T and DiVincenzo out and Forbes checking in. I'm going to make a new change here as I will keep an eye on the box at that point. Not really sure what they could really do here, but this is why they really have to do it once more. No, I want to do it this way. There we go. Hey, shiny offense, let's uh, crash the offensive rebounds and let's get pick and rolls to do on that run. <clears throat> now both teams have one timeout left. Sometimes two players are trying to rehydrate it to get this one right. T, rolling over a bit, shot, and one! James Harden was not stopping at that point and now the defenseman player is losing control. Jeff T, unbelievable player, just could not go without an adoption to just get on and save the day. Jeff T, one shot. That's good! Jeff T now has 10, but the Brooklyn Nets are trying to fight again. This is tough in between. Blake Griffin doing it over. Forbes up again. Passing it over to T. Lopez to Forbes. Lopez. Bounce pass on the Kupo. Over the shot. That's good. Timeout. Brooklyn. This is their last timeout here for, for the away team to pick up 198. Let's see uh, if I can bring those guys back here. And Jeff Teague, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send them out. Thanks for your help. And let's see, DiVincenzo, I think you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay anyway. Back to a five lineup here. But that's where nobody has ever standed out before. But that's very good to keep it on that one here. And now they got to like crash the offensive floor. Now we got to keep it going. Pick and rolls, uh, autos, we're going to need to try to keep it up. Starting five, and this is where they all have it. 
Here's uh, James Harden. He's just trying. And he's going for a lead. Unbelievable. He just had one. Timeout for the last call on Milwaukee. Oh, my. It looks like we're going to need to change it already. This is not working. Yep. There you go. Just a little hydration, but no timeouts in between each team, so this is it. If the Bucks win, they move on to Game 7. If they don't, then they are, the Nets are advancing to the Finals. And Middleton, they're trying to look for it. Oh, they put a win. Oh! Middleton, I mean, Holiday. Just made a buzz beater. You're going to game seven. 103 to 101 is your final. They tie the series up 3 3. Wow, what a stunning this is. I thought Brooklyn was able to make a win, but it just comes up short. Well, time to head to Cape um, to the sideline report. David Aldrich. Let's see what you have here, David. Thanks, Giannis. Congrats on the win. You had it going, and talk about that mentality. I was just waiting to be in that top mode. Uh, you know, my team did a great job, you know, helping me, uh, just being aggressive throughout the game. Uh, I think we did a great job, you know, moving the ball offensively and then putting our heart. And it showed in the second half, man. Thanks. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, All right David. Thank you so much for watching Game 6 of the Bucks vs. Nets. So that means only one game will allow in game number seven. As the Nets are back home to play against the Bucks, it's a sudden death in between each teams. Who will move on and who will be eliminated? Well, thanks for joining us here. The Fear the Deer will continue here for the sudden death in this round in between the Eastern Conference matchup, the seed number two and seed number three. In between rivals, they always try to fight for it, for the win. Top three teams. Jeez, we have never seen that one coming. And at that point, peace out bitches for us a while as the NBA playoff style. And we'll take a short look here in between the Western Conference matchup of the Clippers versus the Suns in Game 1. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on Western Conference Finals of the Championship Game on 2K21 of Clippers vs. Suns once again. Thank you, and good night in Milwaukee. See you in Game 7 for the Eastern Conference. <laughs>